Here's what you need to know when you're planning your wedding budget. If you're new here, my name's Anshika and I'm the founder of Eternity and we're the world's first collaborative event management tool which connects wedding suppliers and couples getting married. We recently launched our web platform, so definitely check it out. But let's get on to the tips. Starting off with number one, the most important thing that you need to do is set your priorities and your non-negotiables. This means that you and your partner need to sit down and pick at least three or four different things which are important to you as a couple that you definitely wouldn't mind going over budget for. This could be the DJ, the catering, the entertainment, whatever that looks like, just make sure that you both have clarity. Once you're on the same page, you'll know that those are the suppliers that you don't mind going over budget for, but then you need to adjust it through your other suppliers. So for example, if your wedding cake isn't particularly a priority for you, then you'll know that you won't mind reducing your budget there. Once you've set your non-negotiables, definitely note them down and you and your partner need to hold each other accountable because it's so easy to get carried away when you're in front of a supplier. Number two, you want to set aside about 5-10% to 10 of your budget as contingency. Let's say that you're planning on spending 100000 You then want to keep aside about five to 10000 of that and basically pretend that it doesn't exist and that it's not really part of your budget. So you're going to be working towards a 90000 or 95000 wedding. This means that as and when unexpected expenses arise or if you find something that you really like and want to go over budget for, you can just dip into that pot. Anything that you don't end up using can just go towards your honeymoon pot or a house purchase or rent or whatever else you want. Number three, you want to be tracking every single little expense. This includes estimates for postage and packaging for your wedding invites or anything that you're spending on your bridal shower or even transportation to and from your wedding venue on the day of your events. On our Eternity Digital Planner, you basically have different sections where you can put budgets for each of these different items. We strongly recommend that you track all of these little expenses because otherwise you're going to end up spending a lot more than you actually anticipated without realising. Number four, now you may want to start opting for off-peak dates for certain events. So if you're spacing out things like your engagement party, your hen and your stag and your actual wedding event, try and make at least one of those off-peak so that you can save on a few costs there. And lastly, reduce the extras where you can. It's so easy nowadays to see something on social media and feel like you need to have it. But take a step back and see whether this is a necessary expense for you or whether it's going to be something unnecessary that you're going to regret later. And so try and reduce them where you can. If you found these helpful, then definitely follow along for more tips and check out our digital wedding planning tool.